Welcome everyone to Weekend Escapades. We have found an abandoned location, Roadside. Now this location is located in Nevada, eight miles away from Mesquite on Riverside Drive, headed towards Bunkerville. As you head over the Virgin River, you'll see it on the right. Now it was said that this used to be a closed property, that it was guarded with somebody that had a shotgun and a couple of Ruttweilers, but I didn't see any of that. But we found some amazing buildings and a little bit of graffiti. Now before we dive into our adventure, I'd like to add that we are now on Patreon. You can check it out in the description below. It helps support our channel and make it grow even stronger. Now I've looked up as much information as I could on this location, and I was told that it was an Indian village, and also read that it was a service station that had a motel. But it looks to me like this may have been a motel with a few cabins, as I mentioned that throughout the video, you're going to see these cabins and what we find inside. So let's build this history together as I can't find a date that it was built. Now it looks like it was uh, possibly a resort area. A lot of walls, a lot of structures. It looks like it was pretty nice at one time, but these buildings are old and they have been vandalized substantially. Take a look inside. I apologize for any of the graffiti. I'll try to keep any profanities out of it. It looks like there's plenty. Just an old ruined chair sitting out here. So what it looks like to me is that all these were cabins. <coughs> Excuse me, cabins that uh, people used to rent and be able to come up here and have a good time. They put a lot of work into these. It looks like it was a common area, uh, like a you know maybe there was a playground there or something. I wouldn't say a pool. I don't see a big hole, but definitely an area where people would probably go and have a bonfire. And also that building looks like somebody had a bonfire. <laughs> yeah, As a couple of these were were burned down somehow, but definitely looks like it was a resort area with these cabins. You can smell. That almost smells fresh. I mean, it smells like fire right here. It's too bad because at one time this was a really nice area, I'm sure. With all these little cabins. But the vandals get out here, camp in them, start fires in them, leave them burning, and boom, down go the buildings. Let's take a look inside this one. This one's a smaller one, it looks like a storage shed or something. Take a look in here. It's a little nerve-wracking because uh, there is some evidence of people have been staying here and you never know when you may come across in an abandoned area, you know, just uh, somebody may be camping out. So, very cautious. 
I would sure like to know more information about this location. So if anybody has anything that they know about the history of this location, the day it was built, or what it was, please put it in the comments below, as I would love to share with others. Old tin shed here. Maybe this was like a uh, area where they kept some of the things to operate this facility. See what's inside. Those look like lockers to me. Maybe that's where the workers kept their kept their items when they were here for work. Some old tires. Looks like they made the walls like out of old tires and and uh, cement. And as all of the walls that I see have like old tires incorporated in them to hold them together. You can see here, this is, uh, so the Virgin River is behind us. But this is like a walkway that comes out of the resort. You can see this would have went right through these trees. These trees are old, so this has been here for some time. I'm going to see if I can find some information on that and include it. But this would have been like a walkway coming right through these cabins, right through here. And then across this road, there's a stairway that goes down right over there. And I think that that's where the Virgin River probably used to come up to. At certain times of the year, you can see the riverbed right about where the greenery is right there. It flows right through there. This is kind of the exterior wall to the compound. You see the buildings back in there. This whole wall goes all the way around the back of it here. Over there, the top of that it says people. But there's another pole that's down on the ground and I think that that was the sign that was for this area that advertised for this resort on this road that went down here. There's a planter there that has a tree growing out of it. And I can imagine originally that was pretty small. But now all overgrown. A lot of guy wires in here back through where that fire was. I'm gonna watch these wires. Ooh, there's a lot of wires. Here is inside of that burnout building on the back side. So this is kind of that four-walled common area. You can see here, some step stones going in. And all this, all these walls went around. And there's cement here, so they obviously did something. Maybe there was a little building, but this is probably an area where they had some recreational, recreational fun when people stayed here. Call this what you want, but this is definitely some tiered landscaping in the desert. <laughs> so this is what desert landscaping looks like. Barrel cactus and rock walls. But this was definitely, uh, I'm sure it was prettier back in the day. But this was uh, obviously the garden area that they had here for this location. And right there is that sign that says people on it. And there's another one there. I'm going to take a picture of that when we leave the location. So this is what makes me think it was a resort. As you can see here, one of the poles, and the second pole was right here. And then on the ground is the framework for the rest of the sign uh, that was here. So this was most likely a resort, and this advertised this location. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as mentioned earlier, check us out on Patreon. And until our next adventure, 
Goodbye from Weekend Escapades.